<clears throat> welcome, everyone. Please welcome ASV, ASB Vice President Isabella Rosal and Cedar Class Vice President Halina Santos to the stage. Please stand and remove your head coverings as you recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as the Christopher High Chamber Choir sings the national anthem. Thank you, you may be seated. Good evening, and welcome to the Christopher High School commencement ceremony celebrating the achievements and hard work of the class of 2022. My name is Jeremy Dirks, and I will be leading our ceremony today. Before we start, I have some information for you. First, if you would like translation service in Spanish, we do have headsets right at the front. You can walk around and come right up to the front and grab one. Out of courtesy, out of courtesy for others, please silence all electronic devices. And in case of emergencies, there are four points of exit at all point, uh, four corners of our field here. Our restrooms are located near the exits to my left, which is your right. Tonight, we're honored to have some very honored guests here with us. I would like to thank our board of trustees, beginning with board member Linda Paseno, board, board vice president James Pace, Board member Melissa Aguirre, board member Enrique Diaz, board member Michelle Nelson, superintendent of the Gilroy Unified School District, Dr. Deborah Flores, assistant superintendent, business services, Alvaro Meza, assistant superintendent, human resources, Dr. Paul Winslow, Director of Secondary Educational Services, Dr. Deborah Padilla. <clears throat> Director of Elementary Educational Services, Kathleen Bierman. <clears throat> Director of Student Services, Anna Polito. <clears throat> and Public Information Officer, Melanie Corona. <clears throat> it is also my honor to introduce members of our Christopher High School leadership team, Assistant Principal Julie Bergeron, Assistant Principal Eric Kawada, who is retiring this year. We thank him for his service. Athletic Director Ryan DeQuinn. Activities Director Mrs. Gretchen yoder Schrock. Your, your Academic Coordinators, Rosie Sid Castro. Petra Garibay. Mara Kawada. And Donia Mayorino. Finally, there is a very special family here tonight. They have been present at every graduation ceremony and are in attendance tonight to send off another graduating class from here, from Christopher High School. Please join me in welcoming two of the nicest and most generous people I've ever had the pleasure of meeting, Mr. Don, Mr. Don and Karen Christopher.
Thank you, Don, Karen, the, and the entire Christopher family for all that you do to support Christopher High School. And thank you to all of you guests here in attendance tonight. We appreciate you. <clears throat> now, please welcome to the stage student school board member Isabella Suarez. Good evening. My name is Bella Suarez, and I'm the Christopher High School Board Representative for 2021-2022. On behalf of the Board of Education of the Gilroy Unified School District, welcome to the graduation of the Class of 2022. Once again, good evening, honored guests, parents, staff, and the Class of 2022. It is my honor to speak to you one last time as your principal before you leave the, this beautiful campus of a Christopher High School. Before I get started, I want to thank my, be my beautiful wife, Elizabeth Dirks, who it's actually her birthday today, and my, <laughs> and my beautiful children, Nicole and Colton. Thank you for loving me and sharing me with these wonderful teachers, staff, and students. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Berggren, Kimberly Lemus, Monica Doherty, and Mr. Kawada for always keeping me on task, which is a rough task in itself. I also want to thank all of you here in attendance and the audience for the support you've given me over the last four years as a principal. But who I really want to thank is all of you, the class of 2022, for supporting me. You're a unique group of scholars, athletes, artists, gamers, musicians, and free spirits that have left an impact, imprint on our campus that will last forever. I'm not sure if you all realize this, but I came to Christopher the same year you did. Your freshman year was my first year here at Christopher and my first year as a head principal. Many of you actually were in eighth grade with me at South Valley when I was an assistant principal. We've shared a lot over the last four years, both good and bad. We had the homecoming parades, choir, band concerts, sporting events, drama, and all the, not that drama, <laughs> all of the field trips, but we also had the power outages where we stayed at school, the fires that raged through California where we couldn't get out and do PE or participate in athletics. <clears throat> We had the pandemic in which we lost almost 18 months of school, and we're still going through our tr transition back to normalcy. All, these th all of these things, both good and bad, have made us who we are. Doing this has created a bond amongst us, amongst all of you and all of us, that will remain a constant throughout our lives. When you leave this day, when you leave the school today for your last time as a student, and you head off to the next chapter in life and, get, and things get rough, just know that you have a solid foundation created here by Christopher High School in, Gil in the Gilroy Unified School District. Make goals to where you want to end up, constantly look at them, and move towards them. If you're not moving towards them, ask yourself why not, and try to obtain these goals you create for yourself. Moving forward, even if it's just a little bit of time, doing so will help you become the person you want to be, and that's what life's all about, becoming the best that we can be. Being my first class as a head principal, you always hold a special place in my heart. I truly love the class of 2022 and want you to all know that I'm here for you after you move on. If you need something, whether it be a letter of recommendation, help with some paperwork, or just someone to talk to, don't hesitate to get in touch with me or any one of us. We're here for you. So class of 2022, I thank you, I congratulate you, and I wish the best in all you do. Love you too. Uh, next up, we have the pleasure to welcome to our graduation ceremony, Mrs. Karen Christopher. Her husband, Don, is who is with us who is with us tonight as well, created the company Christopher Ranch Garlic back in 1956. Without the Christopher family and their generous donations, we would not be in the special place that we are today. Please help me welcome Mrs. Karen Christopher. We were sitting in the doctor's office just three years ago this month when Don and I received devastating news. Don was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. The scariest thing was knowing that his dad had passed away from this disease. This is a hard story to share, and yet we feel that by sharing our story, we may help you find hope and joy and peace in the midst of difficult trials. Alzheimer's affects over five million Americans, and now, all of a sudden, it affected us. This meant a huge change in our lives, 
and a letting go of the familiar to face a new and very uncertain future. In the beginning months, there was sadness and grief. I didn't want anyone to know this diagnosis. I guess we needed to wrap our minds around it before we could start asking for help and searching for answers. As we were searching for more answers, I noticed something was happening inside of me. Depression was setting in. Have any of you ever had a seemingly impossible task to face? Never be ashamed to ask for help. That's what I had to do. I first shared with family and then a few trusted friends, and finally I went to a doctor. I was prescribed antidepressants, and after a few weeks, I noticed that I started feeling better. Our situation hadn't changed, but my outlook came back into focus again. Instead of feeling darkness and negativity, I was feeling a lightness back in my life. Some of you may have experienced depression during COVID lockdowns. It's a very lonely place to be. Always seek help if you feel down or depressed. Call a friend, call a family member, seek a medical professional. Don't suffer in silence. After searching, we finally found a clinical trial for Alzheimer's. Don was willing to try any and everything. He said, maybe it'll help me. If it doesn't help me, it'll help research, and that'll help others. We went through exhausting testing and um, scans, and after three weeks, Don had passed them all until the last test. And then he got rejected and was not qualified for that trial. More disappointment. Okay. I think we need a little joy in our story about now, don't you? Because what happened next was quite miraculous. We decided to travel down to our home in the desert near Palm Springs. And while we were there, we decided to trade in our 11-year-old car for a newer model. I was doing all the driving now, and Lord knows I need a backup camera. So during that transaction, we were introduced to a doctor who also used the same dealership. This doctor had taken a break from his practice in order to conduct a clinical trial. And guess what? Alzheimer's. Nothing is a coincidence. It was part of the plan all along. Within the next four days, we flew home Don passed all the necessary tests, and he began the trial. This trial involves swallowing a few pills every day. The trial he got rejected from involved inserting a device in his brain. Needless to say, we are so grateful he got rejected from that first trial. When one door closes, remember, there's a bigger door waiting to walk through that's the right one. It's been a year now. This trial is not a cure, but it delays the progression of the disease and actually has improved many areas for Don. For example, Don has been watching old black and white TV reruns for example, like Gunsmoke and Cheyenne and Wagon Train, which none of you have ever heard of, but I know, I know your grandparents have. <laughs> he really didn't know what was going on in each program, but he just liked having it on. After he began the trial a few weeks into it, I walked in the room and I heard him yelling at the TV, go get those bastards. <laughs> I looked at the TV and it was the sheriff chasing the bad guys across the plains. I smiled because I knew something was working. Another example, he says, is boy oh boy cowboy. He's adopted this phrase and often wakes up like he did this morning. 
boy, oh boy, cowboy, this is a great day. He is so positive, and he tells me all the time how lucky he is. Another time, Don asked me why he was having trouble remembering things. When I explained he had Alzheimer's, but, but he was in a trial, he proclaimed loudly, Alzheimer's my ass, I'm coming back. I love Don's spirit, yay. Remember to keep that fighting spirit in whatever challenges you face. In fact, I had a hat made that says, boy oh boy cowboy on the front, and in little letters, ALZ my ass, and gave it to all the family so they can remember how Don has faced the greatest challenge of his life. In the past two years, Don has gone through many successful surgeries. At every hospital that we're at, and we've been at a few, um, the nurses and doctors are amazed at how well he recovers and what a great attitude he has. He thanks everyone that comes in the room, even the nurses that are gonna give him a shot or do a blood work. He would even thank the people cleaning his room, and he meant it. We have another procedure coming up soon, but life is still good. I want you to learn that money can't buy your way out of Alzheimer's or any other of life's difficult circumstances. But with hope and faith, you can experience joy and peace along the journey. A door would close, but another new door would open. You can't have hope without having faith, faith in a power greater than yourself. Friendships change, and even families change, but God never changes. He loves you with an everlasting love. So graduates, Follow your dreams, follow your passions. Your path will never be straight, but it will always be good if you walk in the path that he has for you. Don't get discouraged when you face the bumps along the way, but look for the joy in each day. Please know how proud Don and I are of every single one of you. In fact, Don is here tonight and added this advice for me to give the graduating class. Tell them to work hard. So there you go. It's been an honor to speak to you tonight. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you, Mrs. Christopher, Mr. Christopher, and family. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much. We wouldn't be the place we are without you, that's for sure. <clears throat> Last year, we started a brand new tradition at, here at Christopher High School, which was the appointment of a poet laureate. Several creative senior students submitted poems that captured the essence of their graduating class, along with an inspirational message. Senior teachers read and selected one of these amazing works to be read in honor tonight. We are pleased to introduce this year's poet laureate, Annika Waldy, reading her original poem titled, A Step Towards Tomorrow. parents, staff, special guests, and the graduating class of 2022. I present A Step Towards Tomorrow. The rolling dunes which form in the hourglass, each grain of sand reflecting an opportunity. Whether you take hold of it or not, we hold the responsibility to decide our fate. The sound of the alarm continues to repeat. It is time to wake up, to go to school, to get to work. Work is what we are built to do, but change is what we are destined to create. These past years have left our world buffeted, bruised, barbaric, but we as people must not succumb to these qualities. The channels on TV do not illustrate who we are, 
but what we might become. As violence and tragedy become ravenous, those with the voice sit and observe. But America was founded not on observation, but action. Change is in full bloom for us, so it is time. It is time that we challenge ourselves for our future, to employ the education that we have strived for. It is time to stop fearing the fork in the road that is college and life, both significant, like the sea of support which surrounds us. It is time to stop scrolling and use what we've been given, magnificently marvelous minds we have been gifted, to formulate magnificently marvelous minds we have been gifted, to formulate, to communicate, and to initiate change. It is time to be what we seek to discover. To listen to your brain is to give up the voice of the heart, but life is not to be pursued by what is safe, what is normal. The passionate hand is the one to reach first, grab hold of the leash, and cut it loose. Our journey is only beginning. The hands of the clock are tick, tick, ticking. So here you are, given the wings. It is up to you to have the courage to fly. Thank you. Thank you, Annika. We really appreciate that. The Christopher High Chamber Choir, along with the members of the senior class, have a special performance of We Are All In This Together for you tonight. The choir is di directed by Kira Dixon. I think a lot of you might know this song. Yes. Yeah. 
Thank you, Ms. Dixon and the Christopher High School Chamber Choir. And just so everyone's aware, all of this, this performance and the entire graduation is on our YouTube channel. You'll be able to view it in the entirety at home and at your convenience at any time. Please help me welcome to the stage the salutatorian of the class of 2022. She was ranked in the top five of her class, a graduate of the Computer Science Academy, and a leading member of the CHS Speech and Debate Club. This graduate is on her way to UC San Diego to study computer science. The 2022 salutatorian, Tia Irani. Dear class of 2022, congratulations. We've made it to the finish line, the light at the end of the very long, grueling tunnel that was high school. We're graduating. With that, thank you to the friends, family, faculty, and staff for giving us this opportunity to grow past what we thought was only imaginable. We all have some recollection of our first year at Christopher. Whether you were bright-eyed and bushy-tailed out of high school or a little battered and bruised, whether you were ready to take on the giant of high school or cowering before the responsibilities it entailed, whether you came in with high expectations for yourself or with that simple yet very determined mindset of just a few more hours until we go home. And now, Cougars, after these four long, hard years, we have all seen our progress. We've seen our successes, our laughter, our failures, and our teal, tears. Cougars, we've gone through unprecedented times. We've experienced a global pandemic that took the lives of too many people and experienced the effects of it firsthand when we were sent home, doomed to spend the next two, two years in distance learning. We've seen social unrest with the Black Lives Matter movement. And so, none of us are the same people we were when we first walked through the gates, took our first steps into the quad, None of us are the same people we were before the pandemic. In some way, we all changed, whether it's small like getting a new haircut or big like switching friend groups. We're all different people, but we're different people with that same goal of finding happiness because it doesn't matter what path you take after high school, whether you're going to a university, community college, or directly into the workforce. We all have a chance for equal success. And we all have that equal chance because we're still here. Cougars, our high school is our stepping stone into life. Yes, our time here was sh unprecedentedly short, but you know what else was unprecedented? The way we grew in spite of it. We might not have come out of the battle of distance learning, the battle of racial injustice and nationwide division unscathed. We got bruised, we got battered, 
but we're still here. We're still fighting for that hope of a better day tomorrow. And there is nothing more humbling than standing up here and giving this speech to you all. Because standing up here, looking at all of you, I can only gawk at the sheer potential we all have. So I am asking you all to hold on. Hold on to what makes you happy and to never stop fighting for that happiness. And most importantly, I need you all to know that you don't have to fight for the definition of success that doesn't define you. I implore you all to not waste your endless potential fighting for someone else's dream. I implore you all to choose your happiness because after these four years, we have earned the right to choose our happiness, to forge our own path to 6AX. We are Christopher High's class of 2022, and we are graduating. And this, this is our wake up call, our alarm, listen to it. And from the deepest part of my heart, congratulations on our gradu graduation, thank you. Great job and thank you, Tia. This graduate was not only ranked in the top of their class with a 4.46 GPA, but also participated in numerous clubs and teams while be being an active member of the Christopher High School Associated Student Body. This graduate will be on her way to Cal Poly in the fall to study business administration and marketing. Please help me welcome to the stage the 2022 valedictorian, Alexis Kong. <laughs> Walking through the gates of the school on our very first day of high school, a world of possibility was at our fingertips as we were brimming with excitement and a little bit of nerves. When we walked through those same gates for the last time in our high school careers, the sky's the limit. So, let's reach for the stars. I've always considered myself to be a dreamer, and maybe that's because those dreams exceeded reality. But being part of the class of 2022, those dreams didn't seem so far away. Nothing is impossible when you have a crowd of friends supporting you, and this class will stick with you through every obstacle and challenge. We are a community that's not like any other, partially because our high school experience was filled with unexpected twists and turns, but mostly because I've never met so many strong-willed, determined, and ambitious people. I've had the privilege of working with a wide variety of people and witnessing the power we share. We have endured so much from social distancing to planning outdoor events and even creating our own Met Gala. Along this journey, we haven't let anything stand in our way or stop us from achieving our goals. It's a comforting feeling to look all around you and know that you're surrounded by hundreds of people who are going to change the world. If there's one thing that I've learned throughout high school, it's that there is nothing that can stop the class of 2022. Not Zoom classes, nor virtual events, not even a pandemic. We have been united through it all and have grown so much as a result of our adaptations and resilience. As I look out into the crowd of faces, I see future doctors, nurses, CEOs, artists, performers, engineers, world leaders, those who have chosen to serve our country, and so many more. Despite the difficulties we faced, we were able to go stronger even in the most trying of circumstances. I feel immensely proud to be part of this class as I think of all that we'll accomplish in our lifetimes. Let us look at how far we've come and remember the foundation that led us here. Our time at Christopher High has been special and life-changing as our teachers and mentors have guided us and motivated us to achieve our goals. We'll always remember the lessons they taught us, like trigonometry and Romeo and Juliet, 
but more importantly, will remember the wise advice they gave us. My favorite was always the reminder to be a duck and let the negativity roll off our backs so we view the world with optimism. The memories of the last four years will stick with us too, from school dances to singing together at rallies and then some. We've shared so many experiences as a class, and along the way, we created a close-knit, unified community that's capable of anything. The bond that connects us is unbreakable and will forever be tethered to CHS, for it was where we found our passions, formed friendships, created goals for our futures, and learned to act with open hearts and minds. Thank you to the teachers, staff, and administration who have been there for us every step of the way as we journeyed through high school. Thank you to the class of 2022 for being a strong support system for all with a sense of community. I am immensely grateful for all I've been given by this class and school because we've grown up together, depended on each other, and been each other's most trusted companions. Hold on to these cherished times as we transition into the next phase of life for you are never alone when there's a crowd of Cougars supporting you. Thank you for a truly unforgettable high school experience, class of 2022, and may the memories stay with you forever. Congratulations. Great job, thank you, Alexis. Please welcome to the stage, ASB President Bella Suarez and Senior Class President Luke Nathan Javier. Good evening, Superintendent Flores, board members, CHS staff, families, friends, and the class of 2022. My name is Luke Nathan Javier, this year's senior class president. It is a great honor that I, along with ASB President Bella Suarez, are able to stand upon the stage for the last time to thank and appreciate the members of Christopher High School for all they have done for us for the past four years. Most people don't realize how much the CHS staff does for our school. We would like to begin by thanking the Christopher High faculty, which have made the past four years possible. To our ASB and office personnel, we will never be able to fully thank you for all the support and assistance that you have given us throughout the years, including, us, including giving us clearance for sports, correcting our attendance, and in general, being there for us at all times. All the endless stress Ms. Cora and Ms. Sylvia received from students buying their homecoming tickets late and being a friendly smile in the ASB office. To the custodial staff, we thank you for continually beautifying our campus no matter how much a mess we leave. Thank you for cleaning up after our immature freshman selves when he got kicked out of the amphitheater because we never picked up our trash. Hopefully you have seen our improvement over the years. To the counselors, we appreciate all of the advice and guidance that you have instilled in us. We have and will continue to use them to reach our goals for the rest of our lives. Thank you for answering our endless questions and allowing us to come to you when we just needed a couple minutes to finish some homework that we procrastinated on doing. To the teachers, we are immensely grateful for the countless hours that you have taken preparing for our class, grading our tests, tutoring us, and overall just getting to learn more about ourselves. You teachers have no idea how much you have touched the hearts of my peers and I. You all inspire us every day, and an extra shout out to the teachers that let us turn in late work. Trust me, I speak for all the seniors when I say our grades thanked you for that. I know these two years especially have not been easy. However, knowing that we went through it together and that you were there for us every step of the way, reassured us that you all care about each and every one of us and ultimately wanted the best for all of us. Everything that you have done has molded us into the men and women that you can see today. All of the hard work that has been done has created the foundation for our future endeavors. And last but never least, thank you to the graduating class of 2022. The past four years can be described as anything but a routine. We went through a pandemic and somehow we were able to come out stronger. We have managed to become more than a group of friends. We are now a family. From the sports games to the dances, to the rallies, to almost getting kicked out of rallies our sophomore year, we have truly experienced high school to the fullest. 
even though our time on campus has created an unbreakable bond among, among us. The memories that we have made with the people to your left and right will never be forgotten. So now it's time to celebrate and congratulate one another for each other's accomplishments. Forget the drama and bad vibes, it's time to be adults. As we move forward to this next chapter in our lives, our endless hellos in the halls are not final goodbyes. They are simply just see you laters. Congratulations, Congratulations class, class of 2022. 2022, we did it. Thank you, Bella and Luke. Unfortunately, tonight our keynote speaker, as selected by the class of 2022, is unable to be here with us tonight. He's not. We love him too. He's not happy about it either. However, Mr. Benjamin Vega Jr., a social science teacher here and a coach here at Christopher High School, wanted me to share these words with you. With the resiliency of our students and staff, we are able to have a successful year. I consider myself incredibly fortunate to have been able to be around this class of graduates, seeing the way that they pick each other up when times are tough. They have stuck together through the unthinkable. This class is eccentric in a good way and has been persistent in their journey towards completing their education. You all have so much to offer when you venture out into the world. I think I speak for the whole staff when I say that I hope I have positively, positively impacted your lives as much as you have impacted mine. Continue to strive for greatness and you will be surprised at how much you will achieve. The class of 2022 has been a privilege to teach, coach, and mentor. I would like to again to thank the class of 2022 for nominating me to give this address. We believe in you and we are so proud of you. Thank you, Mr. Vega. He'll watch this and he'll see it. Might be watching live, actually. Love you. There you go. Love you. All right. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the awarding of the diplomas of the class of 2022. There we go. Edward Armenta the Third, Emily Margaret Baumgartner, Alexander James Bloyer, Alyssa Lan Christie Burdick, Itzel Vega Carion. Laura Marie Castaneda. Ryan Allen Cartwright. Victor Chen. Lydia Belli Esombi Mpako. Emily Kwang Shi Yuan Hai. Luke Nathan Maktongo Javier. Mia Midori Katsuyoshi Ria Kaur Claire Alexis Jeannie Kong Wilton Kuo Helena Victoria Gonzalez Santos Yashula K. Suresh Luke Joseph Sutter Skylar Shea Turiello Miranda Lee Taz Isabella Rodriguez Mata Kiana Elise Acosta Liggins, Elias Acuna, Aiden James Aguilar, Cassandra Angelina Aguilar Sustaita, 
Brian Ranan Agustin Cody Michael Ahola Ali Ahonzade De Alessandro Alas Villa Francisco Silviano Alvarado Elma Lucille Alvarez Joseph Elias Alvarez Xavier Franco Ambriz Hunkin Colby David Anaya Alyssa Isabella Andrade Emily Esther Arenas Denzel Alexander Arias Neely Yael Erica Enriquez Monique Guadalupe Armenta Colton Jack Arnott Jesus Manuel Arvizu Atea Teresa Austin Makaya Allen Ave Lalamont Mauricio Avila Romero Vanessa Baca Mateo Jesus Badillo Grayson Michael Ballatin Julio Yeshua Barajas Emilio Barcenas Isabella Amaya Barro Zachary Salvatore Beardsley Richard Norman Becker Julian Beltram Carla Sofia Berbera Acuna Tristan Jamal Baranilla Dylan Casino Betancourt Sydney G. Bilecki Bethel Oak Bay Bitwooded Benjamin Alexander Blitz Isaiah Simon Bajorquez Eddie Esteban Bravo Isaac Bravo Julia Olivia Brazil Samantha Alexa Briones Michelle Briones Villalvaso Jonathan Daniel Brown Jaden Joshua Buantello Karen Miranda Busio Gutierrez Jeremy Michael Burns Shona Chelsea Kane Jessica Fernanda Calleros Alexandria Camacho Cheyenne Mika Camacho Giovanni Isaiah Camacho Tinajero Carly Carmelita Camarillo Michael Joseph Cambria Riley Marie Canfield Eric Joseph Cantu Alisa Joan Rabe Capunitan Alyssa Valerie Andrea Carbajal Inigo Isaiah Sisto Carnero Ileana Marina Cavazos Jacob Musami Contreras Samantha Rose Savayos Brisa Maria Chavez Brianna Chavez Cervantes Viana M. Cicatello Rosas Cesario Jesus Cid Gabriel 
Gabrielle Diana Clark. Isaac Contreras. Luis Alberto Contreras Dominguez. Cameron Campbell Craig. Isabel Maria Cruz. Melissa Cruz. Daisy Cuevas Caro. Nicole Sabrina Dar. Cecily Raylin De La Torre. Brenda Dominguez. Julia May Donovan. Dylan Singh Delai. Keanu Kekoa Simmons Duque. Ryan Ronald Duras. Shireen Elali. Ty John Robert Ellis. Gabriel James Enquist. Lexa Mariel Guadalupe Espiritu Lopez. Tobena Abel Iziakake. Priscilla Monique Faro. Octavio Moreno Felix. Sebastian Isai Fernandez. Giovanna Fiorenza. Luciano Bruti Fiorio. Elise F. Fleener. Angelica Flores. Kayla Flores. Ricardo Valentin Flores Luna. Andrew Joseph Fonseca. Ivan Sebastian Fonseca. Daniel Joseph Fortino. Cassidy Rain Foster. Dominic Joel Franco. Justin Tyler Franson. Peter Richard Fuentes. Alexis Blanza Gamido. Tomas Alexander Gallardo. Jacob Ian Gallegos. Chantel Shotzi Gamble. Jose de Jesus Garcia Avina. Ruby Garcia Cruz. Christopher Garcia Zamora. Matthew Michael Gimble. Cicely Gittens. Valeria Maria Gomez. Destiny Ray Gonzalez. Kimberly Gonzalez Mateos. Evelyn Michelle Gopar Osorio. Alyssa Gorbunova. Spencer Kenneth Gorgulo. Michael Alejandro Granados. Cameron Thomas Green. Emiliano Grieco. Richard Joseph Gale. Dianara Tamara Guerra Equiwa. Alexis Gutierrez. Eva Jocelyn Gutierrez Covarubias. Jada Ali Hage. Mahmoud M. Hamed. Abigail Isabella Hardy. Gabriel Edward J. Sung Harp. Abby Rose Hedden. Giovanni Robert Heredia. Caden Michael Hernandez. 
Melanie Gonzalez Olmos. Angela Jasmine Hernandez Cuellar. Nathan George Hessling. Elizabeth Casey Holderman. Malena Love Hughes. Connor Matthew Hutchinson. Curtis John Hyatt. Dianara Iglesia Suarez. Tia C. Irani. Mustafa Khaled Ismail. Jeremy R. Jacinto. Damian Jaimez. Aaron Matthew James. Brian Javier Jimenez Gonzalez. Osvaldo Jimenez Yanez Jr. Haley Lynn Johnson. Hannah Kailana Kapaku. Brooke Lang Kendrick. Klein Eltimum Kenny. Caden Amir Kaligi. Joshua Benjamin Kibrib. Leonardo Akram Kildani. Ashley Lynn Kiner. Ryan Coons. Corwin Lee Larson. Eden Joyce Ladon. Ivana Tina Lee. Jaden Lee. Samuel Tianwei Lei. Israel Paul Lincoln. Delaney Lee Longacre. Asley Rico Lopez. Dominic Michael Lopez. Emmanuel Guadalupe A. Lopez. Ivan Luis Lopez. Kyan Michael Lopez. Karen Ariana Lopez Martinez. Joseph Hamilton Loring. Ryan Joseph Lozon. Luke Anthony Macedo. Elicia R. Macias. Omar Macias Nandino. Sela Angel Desiree Mansipit. Tiana Melissa Maples. Lana Angelina Marquez. Enzo Del Carmen Martin. Katie Lynn Leisha Martin. Kelly K. Martindale. Karen Alexis Martinez. Harmony Antoinette Martinez. Isaiah Thomas Vara Martinez. Jacob Daniel Martinez. Julissa Mariah Martinez. Ahenor Martinez Millan. Sophia Marie Mollick. Melanie Mejia. Eugene Durbin McClay. Taylor Ann Mejia. Ezra Kifle Mellis. Leif Ace Mendez. Tiffany Orozco Mendoza. Vincenzo John Mesa. 
Enrique Molina. Madalegni Mondragon Jimenez. Denise Montez Martinez. Kiara Andrea Moreno. Jackson Richard Moreno. James Gregory Molyneux. Anna Crystal Murillo. Alfredo Murillo Dorado. Aldo Antonio Nahar. Isaac Nava. Tiara Ndao. Kaylee Janae Newton. Liana Truk Nguyen. Melody Kalia Nguyen. Paige Cassandra Nguyen. Vincent Viet An Nguyen. Jake Louis Otinger. Alondra Ruby Orozco. Yahaira Orozco Garcia. Rossi Oteri. Ava Gray Owens. Juan Francisco Pacheco. Jason Diego Palacios. Callie Jane Palafox. Adrian Fernando Palomares Marino. Spiro Dean Pappas. Anthony Roberto Patino Martinez. Ethan Joseph Paulson. Abraham Esteban Peña. Mason Ray Phoenix Peña. Kevin Penuelas Acosta. Ashton Philip Placan. Haley Lou Perez. Andy Gael Perez Lopez. Nicholas Pham. Jezreel Abdiel Ponce. Angelissa Mariah Porter. Xavier Nathaniel Jamal Portillo. Jimena Michelle Prieto. Kayla Natalie Puga. Ethan Cura Kiamco. Kiana Maria Quinones. Kiana Christine Quintero. Juanita Quintero Garcia. Joshua Cole Quintos. Stacy Alondra Quintos Garcia. Eva Grace Quiros. Skylar Jolie Quest. Sierra Nichelle Ravena. Madison Mary Jane Ramirez. Guadalupe Joy Ramos. Isabella Jocelyn Ramos. Luis Alvaro Ramos. Josephine Blythe Tayson Rollins. Evangelina Angel Resendiz. Nicholas James Ritters. Abigail Grace Rizcala. Alfonso Robles. Corina Aguana Rodeo. Ella Ray Rodriguez. Oscar Alexander Rodriguez. 
Ricardo Ethan Rodriguez Oscar David Rojas Alva J.J. Nguyen Rom Isabel Trinidad Romero Juliana Isabel Romero Joseph Robert Dean Ronsi Isabella Rose Gubuan Rosal Justine Jasmine Ruffley William Andrew Rosinski Shay Rebecca Rudd Tristan Douglas Rumsey Brittany Salamanca Ashley Alera Salazar Nathan Francisco Salazar Jonathan Conrad Saylor True Jadana Salinas Harwell Bianca Michelle Sanchez Matthew Alonzo Sanchez Dulce Sanchez Salazar Kamaldeep Singh Sandhu Aisha Monique Sandoval Jasmine Michaela Sandoval Salvador Sandoval Joel Robert Santiago Maya Ann Santian Brianna Santos Sydney Lauren Salo Jessica Amelia Schwain Connor Luke Doyle Segura Kelvin Shi Ronnie Singh Sidhu David Alexis Sierra Rios Kylie Jean Silvia Gonzalo Siqueiros Casillas Kaylee Alexis Smolin Hannah Smith Carissa Lay Smith Lark Smith Megan Elizabeth Soled Samantha Lauren Soled Cameron Tyler Solomon Sydney Claire Sosa Franz Wendell Nolasco Solomon Benny Ray Soto Jr. Sean Matthew Stephen Isabella Ray Suarez Delaney Marie Liberto John Philip Summers Magdalena Athena Tobble Lisbeth E. Tamayo Claudia Ann Teague Savannah Raylene Tejas Jermaine Calvin Thomas Cody Michael Town Ryan Christopher Town Ariel Ariana Trujillo Emily Juline Tupper
Ishmael Yurzar the Fourth, Jenna Yurabazo, Anthony Elijah Valle, Ashton James Vance, Caroline Renee Vasquez, Kendi Vasquez. Annabella Paz Velasquez Castro, Kalia Catherine Hope Velez, Evelyn Bernice Vergara Hernandez, Michaela Verney, Maria Emilia Vidales, Isabella Olivia Vieira. Eileen Marie Villa, Frankie Joseph Villagrana, Melissa Villalobos, Annika Noel Waldi, Nathan Eric Weiler, Eli Burton West. Andrew Joseph Wetzel, Charlie Alexander Trujillo Witt, Jake Connor Whedon, Peyton Walter Wheeler, Dylan Michael Wilson, Haley Isabella Winslow. Christian Elias Zaldivar, Brianna Zamora Silva, Emmanuel Zaragoza Lopez, Nathan Joshua Zavaleta, Grace Ann Zendejas, Mariah Rose Zeal, Zach William Zollinger, Chrissy Meadows Mack. Ellison Jr. Barinoy Ufanoy, Superintendent Flores, it is my pleasure to present to you the candidates for graduation from the Christopher High School class of 2022. Thank you. Christopher High class of 2022s, please stand. Hang on. <laughs> Got one more thing, one more thing. By the power of By the power vested in me as the superintendent of the Gilroy Unified School District, I hereby certify that you have met the GUSD graduation requirements. 
You may now move your tassel from the right to the left, symbolizing your status as a graduate of Christopher High. Congratulations. That concludes our ceremony. Seniors, go celebrate with your families. Fantastic.